The Yesen-class submarines, a remarkable creation born from Soviet design bureaus in the late 1950s, are a mighty force on the high seas. With advanced design and technological prowess, they instill fear in the West, even in 2023. Despite facing initial financial and construction challenges, the Yesen class has emerged as a symbol of Russian naval innovation. These submarines, exemplified by the lead unit Severodvinsk, are celebrated for their exceptional quietness, an attribute crucial for stealth operations. Equipped with an array of fearsome weaponry, including hypersonic missiles, their capabilities have captured the admiration of military observers. Moreover, the Yesen M variant, characterized by heightened features and quicker construction times, adds a new dimension to Russia's submarine strategy. As they redefine maritime warfare dynamics, the Yesen class submarines hold the promise of reshaping global naval power equations. In the late 1950s, two Soviet design bureaus, SKB-143 and TSKB-16, merged to form Malakit. Eventually, this bureau embarked on a project that would become a real contender in the 21st century military landscape, the Yesen class submarines. Originally scheduled to begin in 1977 and finish in 1985, the construction of the first Yesen class submarine didn't commence until December 21st, 1993, due to financial issues. By 1996, work seemed to have stopped, and reports indicated less than 10% completion by 1999. Funding was restarted in 2003, with priority given to Bure class nuclear ballistic missile submarines, or SSBNs, causing the lead Yesen class unit, Severodvinsk, to be projected for readiness after 2010. A second submarine, Kazan, started in 2009, with plans for one multi-purpose submarine annually from 2011. An August 2009 U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence report praised Yesen-class submarines for their quietness compared to contemporary Russian and Chinese counterparts. Delays persisted, with the first submarine launch postponed in April 2010 and sea trials set for September 2011. The third submarine, Novosibirsk, was laid down in 2013. Severodvinsk was delivered to the Russian Navy in December 2013 and introduced in June 2014, earning praise from the U.S. Navy for its capabilities. During its maiden deployment in 2018, Severodvinsk reportedly remained undetected in the Atlantic Ocean for weeks. In spring 2020, rumors suggested Kazan and five other nuclear submarines were active in the northern Atlantic, with Kazan possibly undergoing sea trials. On October 4, 2021, Severodvinsk conducted successful test launches of the Zircon missile from surface and underwater positions. Despite initial setbacks, Yesen-class submarines have become advanced and elusive additions to the Russian Navy's fleet. The Yesen-class nuclear submarines are cutting-edge vessels renowned for their advanced design. A key part of the Russian fleet, they are equipped with an array of weaponry, including land attack cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles, and anti-submarine missiles like the P-800 Onika SLCM, Kaliber family SLCM, and 3M51 SLCM. Remarkably, there were plans shortly after their deployment to upgrade the fleet with hypersonic 3M22 Zircon cruise missiles. A distinctive feature is the inclusion of the MGK-600 Irtish m 4 spherical sonar system, a first for Russian submarine classes. This sophisticated sonar comprises a spherical bow array, flank arrays, and a towed array, a technological addition that has prompted changes in the submarine's layout as the torpedo tubes are now slanted to accommodate the larger sonar array. The submarines utilize a single-hull construction, differing from previous Russian submarines with double hulls. Crew sizes vary, ranging from 64 crew members to 85, suggesting a high degree of automation in the vessel's systems, in contrast to the U.S. Virginia-class submarines, which typically sail with a complement of 135 sailors. The Yesen-class submarines are powered by a fourth-generation nuclear reactor developed by Afrikantov OKBM, known for its longevity, with a projected 25 to 30 year core life and no need for refueling. The use of a new generation reactor also contributes to reducing the vessel's noise level, a crucial factor in submarine warfare. One of the submarine's distinguishing characteristics is their exceptional quietness, a key advantage in submarine operations. According to Admiral Fogo, a US Navy commander, these submarines are very quiet, making them highly effective in stealthy operations. Reports indicate that these submarines can operate at speeds of up to 20 knots, or even 28 knots, while remaining silent. The head of a prominent Russian shipbuilder has announced that efforts are in progress 
to outfit some of Russia's troublesome guided missile submarines with Zircon hypersonic weapons. Alexei Rachmanov, the general director of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, confirmed that the multipurpose nuclear submarines of the Yesen M project would be equipped with the Zircon missile system following the successful deployment of the weapon on a Russian Navy frigate. The Yesen class submarine, commissioned in 2013, are equipped with 10 torpedo tubes and 8 vertical launch system cells that can fire P-800 Onyx or 3M-14 Calibri missiles. The addition of the Zircon hypersonic missile is expected to enhance their threat level. Announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2019, the Zircon is purportedly capable of reaching Mach 9 speeds and striking targets over 600 miles away. On the other hand, the Yesen M subclass, an advanced version of the original Yesen class, boasts improved features such as advanced quieting technology, sensors, and a quieter nuclear reactor. Top US defense officials perceive these submarines as challenging due to their ability to deploy undetected within cruise missile range, posing a threat to critical infrastructure. In response to Russia's developments, the US has been working on its own hypersonic weapon, the conventional prompt strike weapon, designed to counter such threats. The competition over hypersonic technology has intensified between the US, Russia, and China, as these missiles are difficult to intercept due to their high speeds, maneuverability, and unpredictable flight paths. As Russia and the US race to deploy hypersonic weapons, these developments hold significant implications for global military dynamics. The incorporation of Zircon hypersonic missiles into Russia's Yesen class submarines could amplify their capabilities, posing new challenges for defense strategies and potentially altering the balance of power in maritime conflicts. The launch of Russia's Yesen M class nuclear cruise missile submarine, the Kazan, offers insights into the nation's submarine fleet's future. Unlike its predecessor, Severodvinsk, Kazan has a shorter build time indicating a potential trend for quicker construction and cost reduction in subsequent vessels. Both exhibit remarkable stealthiness, akin to top Western submarines, and possess a long-range strike capacity, even surpassing Western counterparts. According to the Royal United Services Institute, or RUSI, Kazan's quicker construction, just eight years compared to Severodvinsk's longer time frame, indicates improvements in design efficiency and economic stability. Notably, it signals a shift towards nuclear-guided missile submarines from traditional hunter-killer roles. These SSGNs are designed for long-range strike missions instead of sea line of communication interdiction, altering NATO's anti-submarine warfare tactics. Kazan's reduced size, about 9 meters shorter than Severodvinsk, is attributed to factors like a smaller crew and a new generation KTP-6 monoblock reactor, contributing to improved quietness and evading detection. The shift towards a conformal array sonar, akin to Western designs, enhances her detection capabilities. The s and M still retains its UKSK vertical launch system, carrying anti-ship and land attack missiles, including the hypersonic 3M22 Zircon missile, with immense speed and maneuverability. With all, the class presents challenges for Western defense. Their long-range strike capabilities negate the need to cross the Greenland-Iceland-UK gap, altering ASW strategies. NATO's defenses need adjustments against these threats, particularly since the Yesen and Yesen M can eliminate surface vessels far from their location using satellite communications and precision firing. The Kazan highlights Russia's evolving approach to submarine warfare. The emphasis on versatile SSGNs reflects changing strategic priorities, favoring targeted damage and disruption in local conflicts over SLOC interdiction. Such a transformation requires NATO to rethink defense strategies against an increasingly versatile and capable Russian submarine threat in forward positions.